Welcome back to Dota Underlords, folks. We are jumping right into a game here and seeing what we can do. And I think I'll grab Razor. Hopefully we can do well. Let's see? All right. These first rounds, as usual, are just filler, really. Unless you have the brawny thing, or the scrappy, I guess. Uh, then the brawny or scrappy global items, then it doesn't really matter. They could just as well just skip these rounds. Uh, we'll do the vitality booster. See, guess I'll grab axe and battle shaman. I think. Hmm. Nothing really interesting so far. All right. Give us something good. That isn't that great. You know what? Let's try elusive. So we want to get elusive units. Which we're not getting. Hmm. Guess I'll grab that. Gives us two primordials at least. Okay. Let's see, what are is everyone else getting? Primordial, brawny. Okay. Looks like a lot of physical damage. Born in a... I guess I'll grab the tranquil boots. And there's tiny, and we'll grab slaughter and tusk as well. I think I'll stick tiny in. Because we do have the first level of primordial and three primordials with a 30% chance to disarm melee attackers is pretty nice. Especially against someone like Bloodseeker. Disarmed again. Disarmed again. Very nice. That's very useful. Maybe go six. Elusive four primordial or six elusive something. Maybe even nine elusive. Still looks very physical damagey. I'm gonna sell Tusk and I'm gonna level up and I'll stick in Slardar and Axe. That gives us Primordial and Warrior for now. There's mixed feelings about Slaughter. I kind of like him. I think he's a pretty good unit. But 
I've heard others, uh, well, some say that he's good, some say that he's bad. I'm, uh, I'm on the pretty good side. So, yeah. That's another win. Okay, so far. This is one. I guess everything is one, right? Yeah. No, that's a two star. Another tiny. Hmm. I guess I'll grab Crystal Maiden. You know what? Sell these two. Don't want them. Yeah, this will do. Maybe we should go... Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That was a loss, unfortunately. Hmm. That was not part of my plans to lose. Right, we'll give this to Slaughter. Okay. <clears throat> Couple of bat riders, but nah. I don't really want any of those guys, so I think we'll just leave it as is. Stay above the 10 gold and get some interest. The nice thing about Primordial Synergy is that you can get it to f to full pretty fast and have all your allies, every single unit you have, disable the enemy quite frequently. And that is very, very good. Right. Let's see, how are we doing here? I'm not really sure. Let's see. 50-50, I'd say. 50-50 or something like that. Yeah, now it's a win. So, <clears throat> good. There's Art Warden. We'll grab him. We'll grab Lycan as well. We will sell Axe and stick Arc Warden in for now for the four Primordials. And then we'll get Lycan in a little bit later, I think. We haven't seen any elusives, have we? No, not a one. Which, is, of course, is something I want now that I have the elusive. Alliance item. There he goes. Gonna lose, but not too badly. Who's this? It's uh, this guy. So he has unstoppable and forged in battle and he's going mage for some reason. Okay. There's an elusive. I don't wait it until the round started. Because I can't stick him in anyway. 
That's my stupidity costing me some gold there. Here. Okay. These disables are very nice, but right now they're just not doing it for us. They are just not doing it for us. There's another Lycan and another Nature's Prophet. And Puck. We'll get all three of them once the round starts. Yeah. Seems pretty good. We're gonna lose this round, we just don't have enough units. And we, we don't have any level 2 units, so I am fairly certain this is going to be a loss. But we are disabling them quite handily. Quite handily. Yeah, so we are going to win, just because of the disables. Pretty good. I need to buy you, you, and you. Let's summon units. Nah, I'll get the chainmail. And we'll put the chainmail on. I think, you know what? Let's. Let's. Do this and stick Lycan in there. Bipoc and Lycan will go up here. Or the chain wheel will go up there on the Lycan. Okay. So three elusives isn't that great, but six elusives is quite useful. 45% evade. I might even go 9 elusives if we can, if we get them. I think 9 elusives and Crystal Maiden could be pretty good. I mean, we aren't getting any two stars with what we're getting right at this time. So, round 12 now, and not a single two star. Well, now we do have a two star. So we're going to move away from. Actually, I'm going to pull out Slaughter. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to Slaughter for now, but I don't think I'll be using him long term. Well, I won't be losing him, using him long term. No matter what, because the reason I would hang on to him it was for the scale, but then I'd rather have Slark or and Tidehunter or Medusa and Tidehunter. If I hang on to to those, this looks like a win. No, his healing is very frustrating. Very frustrating. Just healing too fast. Yeah. Too much healing going on. Who 
was our damage dealer Puck with magic by far? There's Phantom Assassin. They will be granted. You know what? Enough. Let's sell you. We'll grab Slark once the round starts. We could get three elusives on the board now. You know what? I am going to do that. Darn it, I didn't have time to get items on there. And I didn't set it up right either, which is annoying. That's a major loss. Jesus. I did weaken myself quite a bit. Quite a bit. I want to get him back. For the primordial bonus for now. There's Luna for another elusive. So get four elusive, but that's not that interesting. We've got three mages. If we take out you, let's do that. Let's try it. I'm still not getting any two stars whatsoever. I did get a few kills though. Now the healing is just ridiculous again. Hmm. And I feel like I'm in a little bit in no man's land right now. Not really sure what to do. We're not going warriors, so sell you guys. There's another puck. I want to sell one more thing. I'm not going primordial. Then we'll grab puck once the round starts. Well, it depends really. If we get a two star Primordial Alliance item now, then we just might go Primordials. did get arcane boots which we are getting and sticking on you arcane boots are really nice for him okay. another crystal maiden more fling anti mage more fling art warden guess I'm I actually need to Art one, all right. Very nice. That helps a bit. That helps a bit. Okay. That was very nice. Very nice. So that kind of stemmed the tide of losses. Which is good if we keep winning now, but not so great if we don't. Another Art Warden. You know what, we just might be going Primordials after all. 
There's a tree ant, which I really, really want. Uh, you know what? Let's level up. Get tree ant in. Pull you back. And so... Okay, it was what was sold automatically. I didn't actually want to sell it, but it happened. So there's that. Okay. This is looking pretty good. Three mages. Four primordials. And some elusives. I actually might not use the elusive thing at all. Who knows? Of six mages. I don't want any of these guys, so we're going to save our money now. Yeah. Now we're letting you lose it right now. Alright. See. What do we do against this guy? Quite alright, I think. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, we're doing quite alright. Another tiny would be nice. Another Crystal Maiden would be very nice. Okay, we're on a winning streak now. There's another Morphling. Which we'll get after the round, I think. We'll just do that. Level up a bit. We're just gonna go three elusives. Three elusives is just really bad. Six elusives is so cool and so so, and nine elusives is pretty darn good. So we're gonna lose this one. See, there's a lot of physical damage there. Ouch. Looks like it's mostly physical damage on there. Okay, nothing I want there. That's nice. Another puck, which we will grab, and then we'll say it's good and see what happens. that on the tree end. I really should stick nature's profit in there somehow then one of them would be a two star but who would I pull out no one is the answer I wouldn't want to pull anyone out for that. Ooh. You know what? We're grabbing that and we're going primordial, all out primordial and mage. And we're forgetting about the elusive thing. Mm. Yeah, so we're forgetting about the elusive thing. Uh. What mages 
and primordials. This is Razor. So if we're forgetting about Elusive Puck is mage as well. Luna can go. He can go. Priyan can go. Which means what? Which means what? Quite a lot of items on the board. Which is good. We're gonna win. Okay. Okay. So we have a direction now. Which is good. So. The only one who doesn't really have a place on the board right now is Triant. There's another Razor, another Art Warden, Morphling, Huck, Tiny. We'll get Lena and do that. Arson. And we'll stick Lena in instead of Triant. And give that to you, sell Triant. Okay. All right, this is good. This is good. I like that we have a direction now. I really like that we have a direction now. That is very, very good. Okay, down he goes. We are gonna win. Very nice. Okay. So we'll be doing pretty good magic damage. And then we will have the primordial buff to all units to kind of reduce the magic damage or the uh, physical damage. So that is very nice. And physical damage is pretty much what everyone is going. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's see, we're gonna lose this one. That's okay. That was Assassin. We need to kind of rearrange ourselves a little bit in case more Assassins show up. So let's do that. Hmm. hmm. Do that in the corner. Something like that. Uh, there's no one I want there. Where is two Lina's there? I want there. you and the Crystal Maiden. We'll get Coddle in next time. And then we just need Leech, then we are actually there. Then we are actually there. Ooh, this is not good. We are losing big time. Is it big enough that we're out? No. Can't be. No. I thought we were doing quite well and all of a sudden it's just crap. There. So. Another Morphling. And another Morphling. And another Morphling. That's not half bad. Two more Morphs and we have Morph 3 star. Which is very useful.
Okay. Survival of the fittest. The whole evade thing is very frustrating with these guys. Very frustrating. But we are gonna win it. There's something good. I wonder if we get another primordial alliance item, will we then produce two Eidolons? That could be pretty cute. That could be pretty cute. We didn't get that, you know, no, but we did get Eye of Scotty. So we're going to give that to... Who has... Who, who wants that? I suppose it might be Racer. But we'll do... We'll do Puck for that. Let's do this. So we want Cuddle up to two stars. We want Morphling up to three stars. I actually want to switch this around like that. Okay. Let's see how this is going. It's hard to tell, really. Are we winning or losing this? I don't know. I actually have no idea. Ah, uh, we're losing. We're losing. Darn it. Down to four health. That is, that is not great. That is not great. There's another morph. And another razor. I can't get Tiny right now, nor Lina. I just need something to gel. Oh yeah. There we go. Everyone follow my lead. There we go. I wouldn't have minded getting the cuddle as well. There was one, but I just couldn't. Okay. That worked. And we're in the final four left now. Final four. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna wait and get these two once the round starts hope that we get a win so that we can follow my lead yeah i really hope i get to punch my sister then you can level up maybe i really want to see okay i'm up against him who hasn't lost a single round and he's not gonna lose around this time either. That is insane. What is he going? I mean, he's going. Obviously. Primordial. Primordial war? Okay. That seemed pretty good. Okay, let's just have a look, see here. They're down to two. He did lose a round finally. But what, what does he have here? He has four primordials, two dragons, two trolls, three assassins, two knights, and three shaman. That is, that is pretty impressive.
No warrior buff though. That is a very, very strong lineup that he has. Let's see, Primordial, he has well, the same that we had. So, Morph, uh, Rezzer, Tiny, and Arc Warden. Then he has Disruptor. How does he have three Shaman? Disruptor, Arc Warden. Oh, and there's Shadow Shaman. Then he has Viper and Dragon Knight, of course. And who's the last assassin? Viper, Morphling, who? Who's his last assassin? Viper Morphling Bounty Hunter. Okay. Now it doesn't have troll. It has human instead with Kunka and Dragon Knight. I'm not sure I like that change. And Kunka was nerfed significantly. So yeah, I'm not really sure I like that change. Let's see what this guy has. He has a lot of synergies as well. Three hundred, six hunters, three warriors, three, two heartless, two brawny, two dead eye, demon. Pretty strong alliance, uh, set up alliances as well. Actually a very strong set of alliances, but not strong enough for this. Not strong enough. He, he's one away from getting 3 star Pudge, which will help him because of the HP. I would have tried to get a better warrior than Axe, I think. So does does he have the? Uh, he does have the Brawl Forge in battle, so I guess that's okay. And who is his other brawny guy? Ah, uh, there, Beastmaster, of course, who has 29 kills. Is it a level one Forge in battle? Yeah. It's only 25 health per per kill, so that's not that good. That isn't that good. Yeah. WB Kim is definitely the winner here. So yeah, no point in watching the rest of this. But thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.